With sticky inflation increasing the changes or chances of higher rates for longer, Silicon Valley investors are now paying close attention to what that might mean for their privately held portfolios. Kate Rooney's here. She's got more on today's Tech Check. Kate. Hey, David. Yeah, so I spent a little time on Sand Hill Road this week. That is the epicenter of venture. The Fed does seem to be in focus there again. You don't often hear VCs talking about economic data since their companies aren't priced daily like stocks, but CPI did catch the attention of a few. One person told me they're now checking things like oil prices to see what it all means for the Fed. One big reason they care, what you guys were just talking about, the IPO window. Aside from some listings, what I'm hearing is it's still seen as a tough time to go public IPOs or how these private investors cash out and then return money to their investors. So endowments, pension funds, for example, many are watching Rubrik, which is an um upcoming software IPO as a bellwether. Rates can also have an effect on what their startups are worth at this point. Multiples were slashed dramatically when the Fed first started tightening. Some have already, quote, taken the pill, as one investor told me they found more cost discipline or just folded if they don't see any sort of path to profitability. Jack Abraham of Atomic telling me all this affects the sentiment of limited partners, those LPs, and how much they're going to be able to invest back into future venture funds. It dulls the attractiveness of the sector. If a pension fund can get a risk-free 5% on a treasury bill, for example, it's going to make venture a lot less enticing. That is pushing out expectations for one. When some can raise their next fund, it's going to be especially tough for those first-time funds that raised and then deployed money. The 2021 peak. Tiger Global has been a cautionary tale. People talk about a lot. Reportedly raised about $2 billion for its latest fund. It sounds like a big number, but it's about a third of what the $6 billion target was initially. It did raise a $12 billion fund at the peak in 2021. That was peak zero interest rates. ZERP era, as it's also known. Rates do have an impact on where they're going to be spending. One person described it as a tale of two cities. AI town is booming while rate-sensitive town, fintech, real estate, not doing so well. Another investor, Matt Murphy, over at Menlo Ventures, used the analogy of surfing. He said AI is a wave right now. Investors just want to ride the wave. They're not worried about possible reef or anything below. A different investor tells me 95% of pitch decks out there are highlighting AI in the first three slides. Another told me recently they're encouraging their startups to change their company names to .ai if they're struggling to raise money, guys.